Welcome to The Bunker. This garage slash office I share with my good friend David. David is a guide here in Iceland and he has a tour agency called David the Guide. I have a video production company and we share this space uh, to work on our cars, but also both have our office up there. Instead of doing a boring tour of this place, I thought, why don't I show you around while I actually tell you something interesting and that is how it is going with the Porsche project. So here are a bunch of updates to keep uh, you updated. Update number one, we are renaming the Cayenne. We're not gonna go with Sergeant Pepper anymore. That was a bit cliche, you know, um, Cayenne Pepper, Sergeant Pepper, Lonely Heart Club Band, The Beatles. So instead we went for something that's a lot more fitting to this car and to the story behind this car. It has an Icelandic license plate and has always been here. So we chose for Loki. Loki is from Norse mythology and uh, Loki's also a bit of a bad boy sometimes and I think that fits pretty well with uh, this car. Update number two. I finally replaced the broken air suspension with coil suspension and I added a lift kit as well, a four inch lift kit. Both the coil suspension and the lift kit are made by Eurowise. In the lift kit, there is spacers for the struts. There is uh, one inch spacers for the subframe and I also uh, added the tubular top control arms because uh, they give you uh, better alignment after the lift, otherwise it's completely off and you can't really adjust it. So, kind of necessary. Update number three, I fitted big 35 inch tires on the Cayenne, but that didn't go right away. That needed a few more modifications. To be able to drive these big wheels, I had to start cutting into the Porsche. First I cut out some plastic, but then I also had to cut some of the metal. And it's not enough because I now put double the amount of spacer on there. So there is two inch, I think, uh, which is five centimeters. With turning, there is more rubbing. So we got to do something about that. So we got to do more cutting into the Porsche. Oh my Call me crazy. Cutting here is not enough because originally there's two coolant lines running up here which I already took out uh, yesterday. I started working on this already. Thanks Harrison for sending me the picture how you did it on your Cayenne. It makes it a lot easier for me to do this. So I actually know what the oh. I'm doing. Go check out Harrison's uh, YouTube channel and Instagram. Uh, he's a bit of an inspiration for me. He's a total legend living in a Cayenne in the US, traveling around, full-time living in a Cayenne. Can you imagine that? Back to the van life days, who knows? <laughs> Update number four, uh, we're trying to tell Loki that he doesn't have air suspension anymore. That's not really working out. Um, we have a bunch of errors on the dashboard, but they're not too much in the way. So uh, for now it's fine, but we're hopefully gonna find a solution for this. Update number five, since I worked on the suspension, I started getting ABS problems. Um, specifically, one of the wheels keeps locking up um, as soon as I start the car and drive for a little bit. Um, it gets better after a while until the car recognizes that there's a problem then it shuts off the ABS. I don't know exactly what's wrong. I'm trying to figure out what's broken exactly, a sensor or a cable or something. Um, but until then, uh, the solution is just to uh, disable the ABS. If I unplug the, the ABS, then there is no speedometer and there's a bunch of other errors. I installed a button to do that. It's pretty nice to have that anyway for off-road driving. But when I start the car, I can just keep going without ABS and as soon as the car knows something is wrong, I turn it on and it's all fine. I have a speedometer and everything. And uh, yeah, but we'll, we'll try and find out what it is. Update number six. I took care of all the rust on the bodywork, uh, the boot and three of the doors. The door handles are a common problem on these uh, early ones because they just put them on too soon after painting in the factory. Um, so there was a bunch of rust pots here and there, sanded it down, took care of it, uh, repainted the doors and the boot, and then, uh, yeah, now I just gotta polish the paint to make it nice and shiny again. Update number seven, I cut the exhaust. Mostly it was in the way, uh, so to be able to create uh, a nice rear approach angle, um, I had to make some space and cut out the exhaust, but it also makes it sound a lot nicer. And last one, update number eight, we took Loki for a test drive. 
but I'm gonna show you next time. Ha!